get started, that story that Kathy said about the four cups of garlic in the... In the I'm still smelling like garlic 15 years later. In our house, I believe that my wife's business is 49% mine. It's not an equal 50-50 because the truth is she does all the work. But it's with this mentality that allows me to take ownership in what she does and what she loves, and that's her pamper chef business. And as I think about this, a few words come to mind, and the first one is advocacy. You see, she works all day long at her full-time job so that she's able to do her full-time passion at night, and that's Pampered Chef. A passion, incidentally, that's allowed me some pretty nice rewards that she earns on a yearly basis. Rewards that's taken us to some amazing locations and given me some pretty nice gifts. But I not only need to communicate with her how much I support her, I also need to show her. And for the plus ones, the family members and the spouses in the group, I'm just talking to you, it's not very hard to do. <laughs> Truly, all I do is I load her car, I unload it when she gets back, and I do a few dishes. That's it. <laughs> and for that, I get to go to places like Hawaii and Mexico for that little work. And, and it really has its payoffs. And, as an added bonus, I look like a rock star in front of my wife, and that's got some rewards, too. <laughs> <laughs> The second, part, the second word that I want to bring up is emotional support. Being away from the house and the family a few nights a week can be quite a challenge for, for moms and dads who are in the Pampered Chef business. The last thing that I need to do as her support staff is to make her feel guilty for being away. And, right, the, how much does that help when your spouse supports you? Yep, yep. That's the last thing that I, I, I want to put on my wife. We must always reinforce that, that this is our team and that she does have a strong team. And while she's away, the sense of, you know what, honey, I got this. I can take care of the home. You go in and, and do your thing. Imagine the, the, the mentality, the, the, the comfort level that she has, the ability to be at a party and to be present with all of her guests at the party. The fact that she knows that she doesn't have to be everything to everyone doing everything. That, you know what, when you get home, you're not walking into a hornet's nest. That it's going to, there's still going to be things on the wall and nothing's going to be broken. <laughs> and finally, the last word is an encourager. I need to be her greatest cheerleader in both her successes and her failures. Making her feel like a rock star when she meets all of her goals, and a rock star when she doesn't meet all the marks that she sets out to. Because with sales, everyone knows the difference between being on top of the mountain and in the lowest valley might only be a month apart. My job is to exaggerate her highs and mitigate her lows, and never make her feel guilty for not missing a mark. This is the most important person in my life. I need to make sure she knows that I'm supportive of her. For those of you who are spouses of, of people who are weighing back and forth whether or not to become a pampered chef consultant, your support, your support is not only important, but it's invaluable. And we need to make sure that we treat our spouses as a team member knowing that when they get tired that we're there to keep them raised up. It's non-negotiable, it's unconditional, that we are to be supportive co-business owners. Mm -hmm. Why? Because that's really what they deserve. And the payoffs are a pretty good reason as well. <laughs> Have a good night, guys. Thanks.